Well, I should have been home hours ago. I always lose track of the time. So I'll just hold up this wall while I try to recall a thought from the back of my Before I came back to the Frost School of Music to become a teacher here, uh, I was a producer and performer in Nashville for 35 years. Uh, one of the wonderful people I got to work with and got to know was Laurie White. Uh, what an incredible talent. We had some great uh, times to talk about the University of Miami and the Foster Building and great things that happened here. Uh, without a doubt, one of the most talented people I ever was around. Great singer, great writer, great producer and knew her way around a studio like this. Incredible. I first met Laurie my first week of uh, school at the University of Miami, auditioning for the Jazz Vocal One Ensemble. Uh, that ensemble was kind of intimidating for me at the time, and Laurie was very instrumental in welcoming me into the group and uh, reassuring me that I would, I would do well in the group. Uh, she later heard a song that I wrote years later for my senior recital called A Place in Her Heart, and uh, she offered to sing the duet part with me on my recital, and that just thrilled me. I was so thrilled for that. Um, later, Laurie and I fronted a top 40 band for over a year at a house band with some of the uh, Miami Sound Machine horn guys, and uh, working with her for a year like that was such a blast in the professional market, so to speak. And It was then that she uh, announced to the band that she was moving to Nashville, and I knew immediately that uh, I'd soon be seeing Laurie on TV and hearing her new music on the radio. I graduated from University of Miami in uh, 1983, a long time ago. Um, I met Laurie White, um, I think, uh, like a few months after I graduated. I was doing a session in town, and she came in with a bunch of singers, and she sat down right next to me and introduced herself. And uh, I remember her, I remember, I remember thinking, I, I still remember that, that moment. Um, she later became uh, really good friends with my wife, Shelly Percival DeFaria, and they were roommates at the University of Miami. Uh, Lori was also one of the few women in the, uh, in the music engineering program at University of Miami back in the 80s, which, you know, there weren't too many girls doing that at the time, uh, if any, actually. Uh, she was obviously an incredible songwriter, singer, performer. Um, what can I say? She was, she had it all. And she had a wonderful husband, Chuck Cannon, uh, three beautiful kids, Mackenzie, Jackson, and Kira, and um, you know, obviously my heart goes out to them. Lori White was an inspiring soul. Um, she was an inspiration as a woman, a mother, a songwriter, a creative producer, a person here in Nashville. We even went skiing together <laughs> on different trips out west. Um, she was wonderful, but what always made me uh, admire her and her work and her artistry was her ability to write an amazing pop melody that you can remember on her keyboard and I'm a keyboard player and piano player and so I took that to heart and try to you know bring that into what I'm doing and I always remember her and, and the influence she had on me from a songwriting perspective. So. The word groundbreaking is used so much that sometimes people get numb to it. But the work that Laurie White did in Nashville uh, as a female producer and as an artist and as a songwriter was truly groundbreaking. I managed Laurie White's recording career for RCA and Lyric Street Records. Her creative writing was outstanding and her vocal performance and personality mesmerized audiences. She was unmatched in the country and pop worlds. She later excelled as an actor and record producer. God blessed me with knowing Laurie White. She was a beautiful soul. Uh, she volunteered for this dance contest and like everything else she did, she showed up to win. Uh, Gave it 150%, and, and, and there was one point at near the end of, uh, of her routine where she just, she took, launched herself, took a flying leap into the arms of her partner. 
Uh, it was this amazing athletic uh, 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 move, uh, uh, completely fearless, like she was uh, jumping off the edge of a building or something. And uh, of course it worked, it looked great, and the crowd went wild, and, uh, and uh, they won the contest, which was uh, not surprising. Uh, I'll just always remember, uh, I knew she was talented at a lot of things, but I had never seen her dance, and I certainly uh, uh, had never seen her uh, pull anything off like, quite like that, and it was pretty amazing. Um, and I remember thinking then uh, how fearless she was. Uh, my guess is uh, that she lived her whole life like that. Uh, she, she walked on faith, as the song says. Laurie, you are so missed. You brought the joy of gospel and the soul of the blues to country music when you sang it. It was irresistible. Your talents on the other side of the glass, as an engineer and producer, top notch. Nobody can touch you. I'm so happy to see the Frost School of Music honoring a trailblazing woman in the music industry like you. For all of us, I know the only regret is you're not here to receive it. Godspeed, old friend. A very special thanks to the Frost School of Music and the University of Miami for recognizing Laurie's unmatched talents. Thank you so much for giving Laurie uh, this uh, recognition. Uh, it means a lot to her family, and I know it means a lot to her friends, including myself. Thank you. Thanks again. Peace. Thanks. Bye. Uh, we miss you, Laurie, and uh, to your family and to all those that love you. This is such a great honor. We recognize you as one of the greatest alumni in the history of this school. And thank you for being a part of our history and part of so many of our lives. Congratulations. Laurie White was one of the sweetest, kindest people I've ever met. She was a brilliant songwriter, singer. She was an engineer. She was uh, so talented. And more than that, she was, she was a, just a great person. She was kind, she was a great mother, and a great friend. And I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her. Thank you.